outside of all this, the conversation in the NBA, certainly the last 48 hours, is the NCAA coming up with a rule that agents uh, that want to deal with college players who are thinking of coming out but want to maintain their eligibility depending on their their draft grade can go back, that the agents uh, who can deal with those players must have a bachelor's degree, being called the Rich Paul rule. LeBron tweeting about it, as we all have seen. What has been the general sense of this story amongst the NBA players and other executives that you might have been chattering with over the last couple of days, Chris? Well, no, I think you, you can see it if you, if you look on social media. There's been a tremendous outpour from the players, you know, even players who aren't represented by Rich Paul coming out and saying this is bull. Um, you know, you, you've seen other agents come out and, and say the same thing because, they, you know, there's, there's other agents that are in that boat as well who don't have a college degree. Uh, even Rich, uh, excuse me, Rich Kleiman, who, who's Kevin Durant's business partner and agent, he tweeted something out today saying that, you know, it's, this rule is baloney as well. Um, you know, I, just, I think it, it, it might have a tendency to backfire um, because I think um, maybe, you know, I don't know for sure, but it seems like the NCAA feels like, you know, if they if they only allow agents uh, with bachelor's the degrees to handle the, these college players who are considering the NBA, and maybe these, these agents with bachelor's degrees will be more uh, – uh, maybe they will, you know, kind of refer them to, you know, going back to school, you know, being that they know the importance of an education because they have the bachelor's degree and all. I think that's short sighted. I think it's dumb. Uh, but you know, I think there's some. I think it's. I think it's backfiring, Rich. I really do. I don't know if it's going to be backfired to the point where there there'll be changes made. But you know, I I just think of uh, Rich Paul is getting a, a ton of pub. And he didn't even do anything <laughs> to start. You know, this is something that they're starting. And uh, it, it might cause players, to, him to get even more clients. And uh, so, yeah, that, that's, that's in the way I feel like it, it possibly can backfire. Yeah, the NCAA, in a way, kind of doubled down today with a statement pointing out that the NBA PA requ- also requires agents to have a bachelor's degree. I mean, I, I've been looking at their application uh, requirements on the NBPA website, and there is a bachelor's degree re- required from a co- from an accredited college or university, is what it says here. So uh, I, I'm trying to make heads or tails as to what is going on right here, Chris. Is there any? Yeah, I I, I haven't seen that 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 the the revised statement. Uh, but look, there there is a there is a few agents out there who don't do not have bachelor degrees. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know how it, it, I got, I got to, I got to do the reading on that. So I can't, I don't, I don't want to say anything that I'm not educated on right now, but right. you know, there are, there are a few agents out there with, without bachelor degrees who do a good job and they feel like, the, you know, this is affecting them as well, but you know, this is, I, I don't, I don't see any way you shape or form how you can look at this, this rule and, and say, this is not something that was directly correlated to to Rich Paul. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.